Hello and welcome to my behind the scenes commentary on the Sunset Over Thavnir build. My name is Ashen and I like to suffer with housing. The ceiling is made of the Mummer's Maquillage makeup kit that you get from Fashion Report. I wanted the framing to act as an extension of how I framed the windows on this side of the wall without overwhelming the ceiling. You'll notice that I hid spotlights in the ceiling. It gives off both an ambient light while also providing a unique dappled light pattern due to the lace bottom of the makeup kit. Now if you think this is a lot of item slots to start out with for the ceiling, have I got something to tell you about the floor. So why am I in the floor? Well, everything is built in the air at the minimum height for both the top of the oriental bathtub and these oasis chairs. I think it's good practice to gauge what your highest height is going to be when glitching in the air so that you can at least meet that requirement. So the tile work of the floor was just as important as meeting this. And as you can see, I used oasis cushions. So many oasis cushions. So this tile work has been in my mind for about a year. Um, at first I used Zabatoon cushions in a marble alcove bed, so only the tiniest bit of line showed from the cushions. It made like a square pattern, but it looked a little too abstract. I wanted the mosaic tiling like I'd seen in Thavnir. So that's when I started to look at patterns on furnishing, and I discovered how nice the cushions look when paired together. And then it just became a matter of finding a way to make it work without being too much work, you know? There was no offsetting or having to get anything pixel perfect, and I'd say the floor was the easiest to build. Not the easiest to make, however. Nobody on Primal is making these cushions, and I spent four days gathering and crafting. Let's talk about the bath. I love bathrooms. I feel I'm always making them. The indoor oriental waterfall is amazing, and the water is so high quality. The tile wall is actually a wallpaper. It's called the mosaic wall, I believe. I've used this a few times actually, mostly as a backsplash in the kitchen. It's being used to wall off the marble alcove bed, which I've dyed a celeste green. I brought up the glitch height requirement earlier, and in doing so I mentioned the oriental bathtub, so everything needed to be high enough to cover the wooden borders. As you can see, it's a lot of marble underneath. Again, using the marble alcove bed and marble partitions for steps. The sides of the tub are a lot of wooden staircase bookshelves dyed white. The windows were a concept I made a year ago as well. I shared them in a whip channel and fashion decoration at the time, and Dividus actually used it in one of his Moroccan builds later, which I was quite proud of. At least someone could use it. But here I am, needing it finally. This lattice pattern is made by overlaying the three fool's thresholds, and if you do use something like this in your build, please be aware of the sun rays. During the day, it's like the flood of light all over again. The Phasmascape is an important part of the window, as it gives a lot of visual interest, but if you're familiar with them, you'll know that they have a very gentle curve, and it will make the lining up of the windows really annoying. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to just slightly rotate the Phasmascape, just so you can see how it looks. Um, and you can understand the way the curve works. But in the actual build, I rotated the windows to fit the curve. I had mentioned the framing and how I wanted it to coincide with the ceiling. My first uh, work in progress of this build had the walls match the ceiling. So they were uh, white rectangular partitions down here. But I felt it was a little too modern. So as you can see, I went with the Cosmos partitions in the end. Here's a Philosopher's tree table. It's set normally on the ground. I hit a light in the branches so it gives off some shadow work. The walls are one of my favorite parts of this build. I wanted a textured wall without spending a lot of item slots because at this point in time, it was just catching up to me. <laughs> so I spent a lot of time in furniture preview wondering what to do. and. Uh, these oasis cupboards are perfect. I don't think they overwhelm the build at all, and they add a lot of visual interest. Thanks guys for listening to my musings about this build. I think it's one of my favorites actually uh, in recent time. 
I enjoyed this, and I hope to continue to build things that make me happy.